Months after it all started, the battle over Mosul in Iraq appears to be nearing an end. A huge capture yesterday of an ISIS official is helping speed up the process. Molly Hunter looks at the big swing in momentum. The final days of this battle will be fierce. Treacherous terrain, the U.S.-backed Iraqi military closing in on the remaining so-called Islamic State fighters, forging ahead into the heart of Mosul's old city, the last pocket of ISIS control there. And in that pocket, the U.N. warns thousands of children remain trapped. As Iraqi forces advance, civilians fleeing in their direction, mostly women and children, thirsty and tired. <laughs> there are many families, he says, hundreds of families still there. The most symbolic victory, the recapture of the ruins of the great mosque of al-Nuri after ISIS destroyed the minaret last week. The exact spot the group's head, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, declared the creation of the caliphate three years ago. Iraq's military announcing their fictitious state has now fallen. But even once ISIS loses Mosul, they still control vast territory in Iraq and Syria. Today in northern Syria, clashes as ISIS battles against U.S.-backed Syrian forces advancing on the group's de facto capital of Raqqa. Surrounding Raqqa would effectively seal off that territory, denying fighters any escape routes. And while it looks likely the recapture of Mosul, Iraq, is just days away, there is a lot of fighting left to be done to recapture Raqqa. Molly Hunter, ABC News, London.